again, he's gonna be talking about, no, don't worry about what Joe said last night. He's still sleepy Joe, he's still crazy Joe or whatever. He just doesn't have it together. You know who does have it together? Donald Trump, as this mashup will demonstrate. And I see again the forest fires are starting. It's starting again in California. I said, you gotta clean your floors, you gotta clean your forests. They have many, many years of leaves and broken trees. And they're like, like so flammable. You touch them and it goes up. I've been telling them this now for three years, but they don't wanna listen, the environment. Uh, little things and they laugh at it when I say it, the light bulb, those new expensive light bulbs. I said, what happened to the old ones? They're better. They said they were mandated out. I said, why? Nobody could explain why. Dishwashers, they don't give you any water. They give you not enough water, so they're lousy. So what do people do? They press the button again and again, no water. I let them have lots of water. I won't say the third element of the bathroom because they always just bring that up. So I won't say that, but you know what I'm talking about. When I take a shower, I can have water hit my hair instead of drop, drop. It's hard right now. We are leading a war that's incredible, but right now we're leading in so many polls that they refuse to put out. Okay, so there's there's a lot there, and we could have just played the whole thing. He's he's lost his mind. They 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 were mandated out, and why? Nobody can explain. That's true, but not in the way that he's implying. I bet that they couldn't explain it to him. As in get him to understand why, but there were certainly reasons why. And the button, the button, no, the toilet, I won't talk about the toilet, but you know what I mean. And then the water hits my head and we're leading a war. I mean, we're leading polls against Joe Slow. Yeah, it, it was a mess, that could have gone on for a long time. But great job, Marissa, in putting that together. Yeah, um, I do want to say like, he, he's an expert on toilets because he's put the whole country in one. <laughs> <laughs> like. I don't, and and the ad that should be made, and it probably already has been made, is have every analyst on Fox News and every offspring of Donald Trump say he's just so slow and he's so he's lost it, his mind is shot. All those things that they're accusing Biden of, and then just play that mashup in between them. Yeah, because Trump is his brain is Jello, and. Obama's attack is so accurate, which is he hasn't risen to the job because he can't. Because he can't. It's just not in him. We, I mean, I know his, his fans want it to be in him. And if you're stupid, you think you know everything. Mm -hmm. That's what they teach you. Don't act like you're dumb. If you're an actor, don't act like you're dumb. Act like you know everything and you'll yeah. seem dumb. And that's exactly what we just saw. Yep, yep. And um, you know, there's there's an aspect of that that I want to focus on. So Donald Trump gives his speech, and most of it, weirdly enough, is about the environment in one way or another. It's how he knows what's best about how you stop forest fires, which is that you have to rake nature, and um, he knows what's better with the environmental standards on the light bulbs and the dishwasher and the toilet and my hair and oh, sharks are scary. I hope they they eat the seals or something and mosquitoes. It's all and we gotta steal the oil. We need more. It's all about the environment. And then he gets to the projection. So he had this to say, AOC, that's another beauty. She's the designer of the Green New Deal. She knows nothing about the environment. She probably never studied. If I asked her, how many hours have you taken on the environment? Yeah, that's a tough question for how many hours have you taken on the environment? You should learn more about mosquitoes and forest raking and sharks from you the president. This. You said this once about the grabber by the P tape. He talks about doing it with ladies like someone who's never done it. <laughs> he talks about he talks like he's a cool guy, like someone who is it's it's a bag of sand, like forty year old. It's virgins. a bag of sand. Like that's it. And he talks about taking classes like a guy who's never gone to them. <laughs> How many yeah, hours have you does. taken? So this ties back to his his attack on her. He thinks because he went to Harvard and Wharton or whatever that he's a smart guy. That's not it. He went to Harvard and Wharton. Because his daddy paid for it, because he was part of a family that paid for it. That's why he went to those places. And he tries mm -hmm. to attack. And so the reason he's saying how many hours has he taken is he's trying to attack her the same way he attacked her for going to BU, even though she said 
challenge me, man. I got better grades than you. I will share yeah. them as soon as you do, right? Yeah. But and you'll notice he didn't provide those grades. You'll notice. But, but like it's it's like going after a pilot and then saying the tallness of the plane and like you know we got to use the doohickey that keeps you steady. It's like no, you the pilot knows you don't know and you just you expose in your attempt to make the pilot look like an idiot that the only idiot here is you. Yeah. And uh, look, I want to I want to give you a little bit more projection. Two weird versions of projections. So remember, you know the, the QAnon stuff where he was asked about it, and they're just good people. You know, they just care about America. So we had this to say. This is not about Q, bear that in mind. They wanna cancel you, totally cancel you. Take your job, turn your family against you for speaking your mind while they indoctrinate your children with twisted, twisted worldviews that nobody ever thought possible. That doesn't Look, make sense, that nobody ever thought possible. That doesn't make any sense. I, Those no, words it together of don't make sense. But the, the twisted, twisted worldviews that they wanna like, that nobody ever thought possible, like that's a great, description of the QAnon movement that people could be this deceived. Um, I never thought this many people would be this deceived. Um, and then he's trying to mash it up with cancel culture. I don't I don't get that that's convincing. Um, he's trying to cancel Goodyear, man. And I think maybe Sharks. No, he's just trying to cancel good years. And we haven't had one <laughs> since he's been president. We haven't, we haven't. He also had this to say, so they already owned themselves. I don't remember who it was, it might have been Daily Call or whatever on this same way. But he decides to do it because he said, if you want a vision of your life under a Biden presidency, think of the smoldering ruins of Minneapolis, the violent anarchy of Portland, or the bloodstained sidewalks of Chicago, and imagine the mayhem coming to your town. That's a dark vision of a future under Biden that is already here without Biden. And and everyone I know called out the hypocrisy in that when it was in his ads. Mm -hmm. Like it was in ads and and someone's gotta test something before it makes its way to the stump speech or vice versa, right? You do the stump speech first. What works there, he obviously brings back, but he always has that section where he's just spitballing, vaguely remembering things he said before that got laughs and cheers and jeers. But for that dumb argument, that mm -hmm. so obviously dumb argument to make its way all the way into a stump speech, and not just any stump speech, this speech he's making, it's not normal. And I've said like there's norms that are good and norms that are bad. And this one, there's a norm that you're as a sitting president, you're not supposed or as any member of any party, you're not supposed to do anything that conflicts with the convention of the opposing party. It's just take a week off. Mm -hmm. And he's not like no president does this. No sitting president has ever like taken done a political news event during a convention and he did it. Well, and. and to, yeah. to further that point, what was he doing during Biden's speech? Do you know, I don't know. He called into Sean Hannity's show and did a live interview for that hour. It's funny. He's such a sad little man. As if any Hannity viewers were watching the Biden speech anyway. It's weird. Anyway, um, it might be the radio show. I don't. I don't. Anyway, he was talking to Sean Hannity. Um, okay, uh, great points though. Uh, that's as much as I can take of him. He's a madman, and he's not going to get better because, as Obama said, he can't. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.